one of these old flat banks that most people don't give any thought to. Just have a lot of wood and stumps and stuff on them. The fish will still relate to them. Wow, fish is pulling hard. Oh, cut it out. That's a nice fish. Nice. If I can get a hold of him without him hooking me. But, uh, yeah, that is, it's a healthy fish. I mean, he's got belly on him even. Sweet, on the buzz beat. But it's been really a couple weeks since I've been out. Figured come out and give it a whirl, see what we can come up with. And I always like to try to start with something I can cover a bunch of water with. And buzz bait definitely fits that bill. I tell you, it is so nice. These rods that Les is building, and a lot of folks. That spiral wrap with the micro guides makes a difference. I'm here to tell you. I mean, it. I mean, <laughs> you team that up with a good smooth reel, and you can make some really long casts with very little. Remember, length. right? There's a big old stump right up there. in that vicinity. <laughs> nope. Cut it out, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. Cut it out, cut it out. <laughs> Not a big guy, but man, it's pretty. That's two. Both these fish have just been pretty healthy fish. Sweet. Mashed it. You know, buzz bait's great most of the year, but we're getting into the time of year that a buzz bait really, really does well. Um, yeah, from about, for me, starting in September all the way through November, a buzz bait will just catch fish, I mean, all day long under just a ton of different circumstances and around different kinds of cover. And it's just a great bait. You can cover a ton of water with it, which, you know, this morning, not having been out on the lake and not having been around in a couple of weeks, it, you know, it's a bait that I can tie on, put the trolling motor down, cover a ton of water and just get some kind of idea of just how aggressive or non-aggressive the fish are. And, you know, it, um, mm -hmm. don't, don't do it. And this is, this fish is a great example. You can see that trailer hook got him under the chin. He's hooked in the mouth. He got the main hook. But I always, always fish a trailer hook on my buzz baits. Always. But that's another little fish there. He's fat, healthy little booger. But I like a long shank. This is actually an eagle claw. It's a long shank, three aught eagle claw trailer hook. And I like that long shank just because it puts that hook point back there further. If a fish short strikes the bait, you got to think, I think, a little bit better chance of hooking him. The other thing is you want that trailer hook to swing freely on the shaft of the of your main hook. Slide it on there and I'll take a piece of silicone or rubber tubing, cut it, slide it on your hook to keep that trailer hook in place. And buzz baits are definitely a technique that I think a parabolic rod helps a lot because it it's soft enough that it gives that bait to that fish when they come up there and blow up on it. 
I mean, this rod you can see is fairly soft and it flexes all the way from the tip to the butt of the rod. And that's, you know, what they call parabolic action. But at one, it helps you make long casts. But two, when that fish blows up on that bait, that rod just gives and lets that fish get that bait down in his mouth. For the best selection of firearms, visit Sportsman Inc. Try out our two pistol ranges. We buy, sell, and trade guns. Sportsman Inc. is a full-time gunsmith on site, and we offer concealment classes. You'll find everything you need for hunting and fishing at Sportsman Inc. Hands Mill Highway in Rock Hill. Uh, if I can get caught up to this fish. Yep. <laughs> what was I saying about... Back here on these flats and catch a big fish or a good fish. And that one. And he killed it too. Gotta love that. That's nice. It's a nice fish. Pretty, I mean, I'm just really surprised that all these fish back here have been just clean, no sores, just healthy. Thank you, buddy. That buzz bait bumped over that limb right there. That should have been game over. Before I even got the bait up on the surface. <laughs> Before I even got the bait up on the surface. <laughs> little guy that is so funny though threw that thing out there and literally before the bait even got up on the surface that fish had the bait sweet the way this lake has been fishing and 13 14 pounds winning the tournaments three pounders are pretty good fish ah oh. out of position out of position. That's the other reason why you want to point your rod at that bait so that when that fish gets it, you're in position to just snug up. For the most part, they set the hook on themselves, but you do want to be able to keep a tight line on them and keep some pressure on the fish. And snake under that dock. I don't know if you saw it. <laughs> gotta love it, gotta love it. Got the buzz, got the main hook and the trailer hook. And I can't get either one of them out of them. Bad little fish. That fish didn't seem to mind it without the skirt. <laughs> huh. Yeah, that fish didn't mind it a bit without the skirt. Nice little fish. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yeah, I had this fluke on here. Just as a kind of a trailer to give the bait some mass and uh, then I tore my skirt up and now this, this fluke is pretty much junk but what I'm gonna do is um, Jeff Kanopka from Jack's Custom Baits we've been working on this swim bait and you know the swim bait is a neat little deal. It's something we've been working on for a while. 
and uh, I'm actually going to rig it up on there. It's got pretty good body, so it's got some weight, and I just can't get over how soft the plastic that he uses. It's just so soft, which gives the baits just awesome action. Yeah, I definitely think it seemed like today the key was, you know, being back on the flats where the water was pretty shallow and you know having a lot of bait around was definitely a key to the fish being there but had a lot of fun caught some fish and hope you guys enjoyed it we'll see you next week remember there is no substitute for time on the water fishing with rusty is made possible by these great sponsors